everybody and welcome to Audio Code UC Talks with me, Jay Wyatt. Um, today, I'm once again joined by the guys from Colt. I've got Rui Faraz and Tim Cook. So welcome again, Rui and Tim. Hey, good Hello. to be here. Hi. Thank you. Guys, thank you again for taking the time today to join me on this edition of UC Talks. Um, so today we're going to discuss the new working environment for organisations, which I, I, I think personally we can all agree that the workplace for many of us has changed massively over the last six months. You know, I also feel that it's here to stay for the foreseeable future. So it'd be really great to understand how you guys see it and what you're seeing from your perspective. Um, so I'm going to go straight into question number one, Tim. Um, hi, Tim. So what situation are, you know, are organisations currently finding themselves in? Cool, thank you. Great question. So organisations have had to rapidly adapt to the new ways of working and it's dependent on the situation that that organisation finds themselves. So global organisations will need to deploy responses that are appropriate for the countries uh, that they're in. And these threw up a number of solutions, whether they were partly hybrid or whether they were full working from home, were all dependent on the situations they found themselves in and also the type of industry that they, they're in themselves. So they had to find their own way. And okay. a lot of those organisations will have had some capability uh, to enable home working. They maybe have had some people working from home already, but it wasn't to scale. So they had to respond to the scale of the requirement uh, that was in front of them. And in certain circumstances, that was 100% of people working from home. So when they were scaling up, there would have been some gaps that were either identified in terms of the capability, the number of ports or whatever technology uh, the solution was required to, to enable that, or they took a dip straight into a cloud solution, but rushed at it, yeah? And okay. they had to do this to keep their commercial wheels turning. And uh, basically, they had to find a way to digitally engage with their customers, to digitally sell with their customers, and to digitally service their customers. And this was a big step change for a lot of organizations. But they had to do it so quickly. And they were probably not prepared to do this. So processes and so forth were probably out of whack. Uh, so they had to deploy some short-term solutions. Now we're six, eight months into this uh, process of now working from home. A lot of those stop gaps are starting to, to show uh, fraying at the edges or not quite what yeah. they wanted. And they need to turn this into a long-term solution. And that's what we're really seeing at the moment is looking at, was it the right solution and have they done the right thing? And uh, yeah, so there has been lots of stories that we've seen from these sort of rapid deployments where things like loss of data has ex uh, been experienced and people are trying to shore up their quick decisions. So that's what we're seeing in the market at the moment. OK, um, so, you know, I mean, you've already discussed kind of some of the problems that these organizations are kind of facing. Are there any more sort of other problems that, they, that they're kind of experiencing, um, uh, you know, with this rapid deployment of teams? And, and we've seen that. We've seen a lot of organizations, um, like you said, they, they you know, they, they, they may have had some in place, but now, you know, the, creep, the cracks are starting to show. Are, are mm. there are there problems that they're, they're, they're kind of facing? Yeah, you know, the um, very much so is an evaluation of their strategy. And this is just not the side. This is, you know, the business as a whole. How are they going to survive in 2021? Um, the market economies are looking bleak for, for 2021 if we continue in the same way, way that we are, unless we get back to the normalish ways of working or we adapt to survive. Yeah, this is the Darwinian moment of our time. And uh, in relation to business, of course, and, you know, they need to make sure that they have adapted their UC solutions to be the best and optimal to service their customer environments. And yep. that's what yep. the companies are doing. They're bridging the gap to where they need to be at the moment. And they're looking at their strategies and then obviously the strategies drive the technology. But in that gap, we need to make sure that people are optimized, they're efficient, they're collaborating. And there's a lot of uh, discussions around the long term working from home mental health impacts as well. And how can we support that through applications that we are we are trying to sell to our end customers and help them in their business needs? So that's really where we are. And that's some of the problems that we're seeing. But yeah. the other one that is a big one is that 
when you make quick decisions, costs increase. And yeah. a lot of these quick deployments of cloud-based solutions haven't been cost optimized for the business requirements. And uh, people are getting some pretty big bills for termination of minutes or inbound telephony. And now need, they need to go through cost rationalization and also solution optimization. So they're the problems that we're really seeing in the market at the moment. Yep. Okay. And so, so sort of leading on from that then, as, as we've all kind of already discussed, um, you know, we, we saw a lot of organizations at the start of the year, you know, deploying um, teams really quickly and, and like so they've incurred costs they, they put a solution in place so they can still function you know we've seen mm. that and I guess during so I'd say sort of July and August we kind of saw you know organizations then sort of taking stock and going right okay now we put this in place we need to now look at this mm. and, and did we do the right things did we actually cover all the bases and dot the i's and cross the t's by doing like network assessments environmental assessments and those kind of things so perhaps Tim, you could what you know, perhaps you can explain to us why it's important for them um, to plan and embrace this new way of working. So uh, yeah, uh, embracing the new way of working is that with uh, with with the way that we are seeing COVID uh, and the responses globally evolving, is that we are now heading into the second wave. We are now seeing that this is heading back into lockdown in the UK yep. we've been asked to go to back to work from home if at all possible where we can uh you know it's 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 one of those adaptation points so it's now the bedding in of the solutions that have been put in place were they the right ones did we make the right choices can we make sure that they are our mid to long term strategies yeah and that might be jumping ship from uh you know a video conferencing platform that was that bridging of the gap but for yeah. the long term do we want to use a proper uc collaboration tool that the organization beds into properly and you know we're really supporting our customers in those conversations to make them effective and long term um going on uh you know we're saying that quick uh, decisions uh, to make deployments can t give uh, some long-term implications in terms of cost or solution. But you know what we're seeing now is the customers that are coming to us, we are able to uh, have the conversations quickly and deploy quickly. And I think at that point, it's probably worth handing over to Rui to talk about some of the recent uh, deployments that we've done in terms of scale and speed. Awesome. And it's nice to get Rui involved as well. Yeah. Bring him in. <laughs> Bring him in. Yeah, it's good to So, yeah, the, the, just so, so what we've been saying on the market and the uh, aligns pretty much with our strategy and cold, right? Uh, so, and of course, with the relationship which we've been building with with all your codes throughout this couple of last years, uh, we've we've managed to put together a fully cloud environment in order to move our customers in a fast and quick way and and very competitive way to be fair. Uh, from a from a simple team deployment where we only have the collaboration and productivity features into a fully fledged unified communication solution, like Tim was saying, which is cost effective, which doesn't give any kind of uh, wrong expectation of, of or any kind of surprise related with cost at the end of the month. So if we've managed to put together everything which is needed in order to put direct routing in place from a fully cloud environment. And we, we've been seeing that this has been very successful with, with, with customers, which some of them are already using Teams, but it is a very fast and quick way to activate direct routing on their applications, or even for bigger customers, which want to have a more uh, managed migration to direct routing and trying to get away from, from a, what from PDX, which they still have on premise, uh, where they have an hybrid environment uh, with the cloud service providers. So, uh, in cold, we've 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 put together all the all the means to create dynamic and agile ways of moving the customer from where he is now in his state of digital transformation into where he would he would like to be in a couple of months' time. Right. So, yeah. and this 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 agility is exactly what 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 differentiates cold from from the rest of the the offers we've been seeing on the market. And we've been getting very very good feedback from our customers, and they've been coming back to us and saying thank you for for the work or thank you for all the agility you guys have been have been managing with us. That capacity is actually what the customers are looking for in this time of need. 
Ruth, that's awesome. Thank you ever so much. Um, guys, um, you know, once again, thank you ever so much for, for this today. It's been, again, um, a great experience. If anyone watching this video wants to reach out to um, to you, how should they get in touch? And Rui, I'll let you answer that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, of course you can you can just click our names on LinkedIn and just send send us a message and uh, and start a, a conversation uh, like that in a more informal way. But if you want to go the formal way, you can you can go via our website colt.net or even sending a, uh, an email to sales at colt.net and someone uh, surely uh, will answer you back and try to and try to put together all the mechanisms in order to help you move ahead with your solutions. It's awesome. Um, guys, once again, thank you so much. And obviously, thank you to our viewers. If you like this video and would like to see more, please go to the Audio Codes um, YouTube or LinkedIn pages and search for hashtag UC Talks. If you want to email, it's uctalks at audiocodes.com. Um, please don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, feel free to share with your contacts. Thank you ever so much. Thanks, Jason. Cool. Good to speak with you again.